What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Ball Ginger, and we are jumping back into some road to the show here today. We have a three-game set against the Reds in Cincinnati. Reds are actually having a fairly solid season from the looks of things there, so uh, hopefully we can get out of here with two wins. As long as we don't get shut out. And we start off game number one with a boss battle challenge against Hunter Green with a runner on first and one away. Oh, boy. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Advance the runner. That sounds like a plan to me. Hunter Green on the mound for the Reds, though. He does hit 100 on the four-seamer. Circle change and slider at 90. First pitch is inside with the four-seamer. One and oh, the count. <clears throat> Second pitch of the at-bat now. Come on, big guy. Low and inside with the slider. And it's a two and oh count to start this at-bat. Third pitch now from Green. That's in the zone. Swing and a miss on the 100 mile an hour heater. And we have a two and one count. There's no chance of me uh, catching up with that one. And we watch a circle change on the outer third. Dang it. Come on, I thought that was gonna be a slider and it was not. The two two pitch now from Green. Ooh, we foul off a four seamer that was just below the knees. The count stays at two and two here. Pitch number six of the at bat. Circle change on the outer third again. Fouled off this one, though, and the count stays at two and two. We're looking to pitch number seven of the at-bat here in the top of the first. And a swing and a miss to the four-seamer above the zone. That is not the way we want to make that happen. And there's a K next to my name now. We're going to move on. It's t the bottom of the second. The Reds are up two to nothing now. Jason Dominguez at the plate for them. He's working an 0-2 count against Eduardo Rodriguez with one out and nobody on. Wind up and the pitch from Rodriguez. It's a ground ball to me at third. Easy play. We'll pick it up. Throw across the diamond. And that's out number two here in the bottom of the second. We're moving on. It's now top of the third. 2-0 ball game still. Runners on first and second. Two away. As I'm standing in for the second time today against Hunter Green. Still rocking the over here with a K next to my name. First pitch of the at-bat. Right down the middle, and we send that four-seamer out into right field, but that will get caught. Yep, too much air underneath that one. And that's going to send us into the bottom of the third, still trailing the Reds by a score of 2 to nothing. Uh, bottom of the fourth, it is now a 4 nothing ball game. Runner on second and two away for Austin Hendrick. He is 0 for 1 on the day, but has a 1-1 count in this at-bat against Eduardo Rodriguez. Ground ball to me. He's going to make sure that he stays on the over list today so far. As we get the ball to first base in plenty of time there, we're moving on to the fifth. Trailing the Reds by a score of four to nothing. Top of the sixth. Here we go. Still four nothing ball game. One out. Nobody on. Hunter Green still on the mound. Only thrown 59 pitches to this point. He's been brutally efficient. And a four seamer at 99 miles an hour at the top of the zone swung on and missed. 0 oh, and 1 the count for me in this at bat. Low and away with a four seamer there, evens up the count to 1 and 1. Pitch number 3 on the way now. And oh, diving attempt by the shortstop. All he could do was knock it down though. Couldn't pick it up and throw to first to get me, so we have an infield hit there. Nothing wrong with that. I'll take it top of the seventh we come back four to two ball game I'm standing in one for three on the day now and Ian Gibbo is on the mound for the Reds out of the bullpen runner on first and two away for me uh, Gibbo does throw a 97 mile an hour four seamer cutter at 94 that's all he's got that's quick first pitch at the knees with the four seamer on the inner third and it's called a strike oh and won the count here to start this at bat next pitch from Gibbo we foul off a four-seamer that was on the inner third, almost the inside corner. Oh, and two the count now. The two-strike pitch from Gibbo. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer above the zone. I'm being way too aggressive at the plate here as that strikeout sends us to the seventh inning stretch. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. And the Reds are going to take the win here in game number one. Final score, five to two. And, uh, yeah, not the best day at the plate for me. One for four on the day. I was hitting 418 in the previous month. Holy crap. All right. 
We're going to move on to game number two, though, and you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. All right, we come in top of the second. I'm batting cleanup today. No score, nobody out, nobody on. And Andrew Abbott on the mound for the Reds. He hits 95 on the fourth seamer, and uh, that's all he's got that's quick, really. First pitch from the left-hander. Right back up the middle. First pitch hacking gets me a base hit here, so... It's an, only a single, but hey, I'm on base, and that's what counts in this one. We come back bottom of the second, still no score. Matt McLean at the dish for the Reds. He's uh, hitting 276 on the season. Nobody out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way from Merrill Kelly. A ground ball to me at third. Slow roller, but we'll scoop it up. Throw across the diamond with plenty of time to spare. And that's the first out in the bottom of the second. The Top of the fourth, we come back. I'm standing in one for one on the day, two for five on the series. Andrew Abbott still on the mound for the Reds. Let's see what I can do against him in this at-bat. First pitch is outside and low with the sweeping curve. One and oh the count. Oh, wow, I was the August player of the month. That surprises me, honestly. Another second pitch was a four-seamer right up in the middle of the zone. We send it back up the middle, and we have another single. So it's a two-hit ball game for me so far, and we're only in the top of the fourth. We come back top of the sixth. Here we go again. Third at bat against Andrew Abbott. <clears throat> One out, runner on first. Let's see what I can do against him in this AB. And the first pitch coming from him. Come on, big guy. Ooh, hacking on a four-seamer above the zone. Swing and a miss makes for an 0 oh and 1 count. Had good swing timing, though, so that's weird. The 0-1 oh pitch. Below the knees of the sweeping curve, and I'm swinging at everything here. Oh, that's not a way to make things happen. The two-strike pitch now from Abbott. Ripped into right field. I don't know how I fought that one off, but it's another single. Three for three with three singles. Works for me. Still a base hit, baby. Bottom half of the sixth. We're still scoreless here in Cincinnati. Runner on second. Nobody out. Spencer Steer at the plate. He's over two on the day. Has a 266 batting average. Let's see what Merrill Kelly's going to serve up to him in this one. It looks like we've got quite the pitcher's duel going on. Now ball to me a third. We'll get a glove on that. Throw across the diamond. Easy play. One away here in the bottom of the sixth. We're moving on. It is now top of the seventh. Diamondbacks are up two to nothing. Runners on first and second, two outs. And I'm standing in three for three on the day, four for seven on the series. And we get a dynamic challenge against Connor Phillips, who's now on the mound out of the bullpen for Cincinnati. Uh, let's just try to drive in a run. That's the whole goal at the plate in this situation, right? Connor Phillips, though, does hit 96 on the four-seamer. 94 on his sinker, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch is a four-seamer. Oh, low and away. I think that was outside of the zone, but it was called a strike. Oh, and one the count. Must have been some good framing from the catcher there. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss to the four-seamer well above the zone. That is not the off-speed pitch I thought was going to be coming. And we have an 0-2 hole in a hurry here. Two-strike pitch. Popped up into foul ground down the right field line. First baseman's over near the wall. Can't get to it. It is out of play. So we're going to do the 0-2 pitch one more time here from Connor Phillips. Low and away with a changeup. That one was called a ball, though. One and two the count after four pitches. Next pitch is well outside with the fourth seamer. That evens up the count at two and two. Come on, big guy. Give me something good here. It'd be nice. Not exactly nice, and we send one down the right field line. Gets down just on the foul side of the line, so the count stays at two and two after six pitches in this at-bat. Throws me with a four-seamer just off the inside corner. I can't say I agree with that call at all. This uh, home plate umpire is very uh, judicious with his um, strike calling, I will say. Can't say I'm thrilled with that. We come back bottom of the eighth. It's a two to one ball game. Arizona still in the lead. Runners on first and second with nobody out for Jake Fraley. He's one for three on the day so far with a double earlier in the game. He's hitting 251 on the season, and we now have Paul Sewell on the mound out of the bullpen. The 0 1 pitch from him. 
Could be a ground ball to me at third. We're going to throw to second. Five, four, and three. It's a double play. That puts two outs on the board. Unfortunately, we still have the runner on third. So let's see what happens here. We come back tied at two in the top of the tenth. I'm standing in three for four on the day. Runner on second, one out, and Connor Phillips still towing the rubber for Cincinnati. Of course, the idea here is just to drive in the run. A base hit should be able to do it. Uh, they're intentionally walking me. Dang it, come on, chickens. Oh, well, on base is on base, I suppose, right? And Cincinnati ends up walking it off anyway. So they have taken the first two games of this three-game series. The final score in this one, I didn't even see what it was. Ah, uh, 4-2 to as they put up a two spot in the bottom of the 10th. So, yeah, we're going into game number three, trying to avoid getting swept on the road. I was not expecting this much of, much of a challenge from Cincinnati here. All right, here we go. It is the top of the first. one nothing ball game. Arizona in the lead. I'm batting third in the order today against Jordan Hicks. He's got a 100-mile-an-hour sinker. Uh, 101 on the four-seamer. Good gravy. 90 on a circle change. He's a burner, all right. Sinker, 97, right down the middle. Late swing, somehow got a piece of that and fouled it away. I have an 0-1 count to start this at bat. The 0-1 pitch from Hicks. Come on, big guy. Sweeping curve got me out in front there. Swing and a miss makes for an 0-2 count. Both pitches I've seen have been in the zone in this at bat. The two-strike pitch. Ooh, sinker at the knees. <laughs> I'm so paranoid after that last game where everything was a strike if it was remotely close to the zone. We have an 0-2 count. And I swing at a sinker off the inside corner. Definitely did, earned that strikeout. Good gravy. We come back top of the third. 2-1 to one the score. Arizona in the lead. One out. Nobody on for me as I am 0 for 1 on the day here. Jordan Hicks still on the mound for Cincinnati. Wind up and the pitch to start this at bat. Come on. Swing and a miss at a sweeping curve below the knees on the outside corner. Oh, and one the count now for me. Second pitch from Hicks. Now we float a sinker into right field. Right field is going to have an easy time getting to that one. That is a lazy fly ball out for out number two here in the top of the third. We come back top of the fifth. That is a 5-2 ball game with Arizona in the lead. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in 0 for 2 on the day, despite my 314 batting average. Jordan Hicks still towing the rubber for Cincinnati in this one. And the first pitch of this at bat, just below the knees with the sinker on the outer third. And it is a 1 and 0 count. I have one career home run against Cincinnati. That's all I've managed. Sinker off the inside corner swung on and fouled away. We have a 1 and 1 count instead of 2 and 0. Pitch number three of the at-bat, though. Come on, let's see what it is. Slider below the knees on the outer third. It's a one and two count as I have swung at two straight balls and fouled them away to prevent myself from having a 3-0 count. The one-two pitch. Right back up the middle, but Ellie Dela Cruz with the sliding stop and throw to first to get me by a step. That was an eventful first out here in the top of the fifth. Yeah, you can celebrate that one, bud. Bottom of the sixth. That is now a 5-4 to four ball game. Arizona still in the lead by one here. There's runners on the corners with two away as Jason Dominguez is now standing at the plate 0 for 2 on his day. But he does have a 2-1 and one count against Waskar Yanoa. All he needs is a simple ground ball here. That would be amazing. It's a bunt down the third baseline. Are you kidding me? Oh, everybody's going to be safe. Yep, he beats it out easily, and we are now tied at five runs apiece in the bottom of the sixth. The runners on first and second, and two away. We come back top of the seventh, still tied at five. I'm standing in over three on the day, four for 11 on the series. And Connor Phillips is now on the mound out of the bullpen. He still hits 96 on the four-seamer, 94 on a sinker. First pitch of this at bat. So the four-seamer on the outer third got a piece of it and fouled it off. Oh, and won the count. I'm actually on a 10-game hit streak. Ooh, don't show me that. Now I want to swing at everything. And we're way out in front of a change up there and foul it down the third baseline. And now I'm in an 0 oh and 2 hole. Only good news is both pitches were in the zone there. Next pitch is a four-seamer off the outside corner. Taken for a ball. 1 and 2 the count now. 
Pitch number four of the at-bat. Low and away with a four-seamer. Two and two the count. Come on, big fella. Give me something I can put some wood on here. Uh, I shouldn't have swung at that four-seamer below the knees, but somehow we fouled it off. The count is still two and two here. The next pitch. Swing and a miss at a curveball below the knees on the outside corner. There's another K next to my name in this one. I am not doing great at the plate in this game, especially. We come back. It's the bottom of the seventh. 5-5 five, five ball game. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. Ryan Thompson on the mound for the Diamondbacks now. Jake Fraley at the plate, who is 0 for 2 on the day with a walk and a run scored. Only 1 for 6 on the series here. Looks like he's going to be bunting, apparently. 1-2 pitch on the way from Ryan Thompson. And we're going to be able to make a play here. What play is it going to be? Nobody knows. Throw to the plate. Got him. How about that? We saved the run from scoring. Still a 5-5 ball game now with one out in the bottom of the seventh. Apparently the Cracker Jack worked for me today. Top of the tenth, we come back. Still tied at five. I'm standing in 0 for 4 on the day. This is not what I expected to see here. But uh, runners on first and second. Nobody out. And... Uh, We've got another dynamic challenge. I don't think I'm going to be able to drive in all runners, but I'll take driving in one. Connor Phillips is on the mound for the Reds still. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer off the outside corner. That is not what we want to have happen there. The 0-1 pitch from him. Off the inside corner. That's an easier take for a ball. One and one the count. Pitch number three. Check swing on a change up below the knees on the inside corner, and I now have a one and two count. It was way too far out in front of that change up. The one two pitch. Oh, I almost swung at that change up low and away. Two and two the count, though, as I managed to lay off that one. Pitch number five of the at bat. Below the knees with a four seamer. We have a full count now with Jordan Lawler in the on deck circle. Let's see what we get for a payoff pitch here from Connor Phillips. Foul ball and a four-seamer off the outer third. Payoff pitch number two is going to be on its way here. That's ripped in the right center field gap. It's going to get down for a base hit. They send the guy around third. Is he going to score? Slow roller, slow runner. But he manages to get in there. We now have runners on the corners with nobody out here in the top of the tenth. That is a go-ahead RBI to extend my hit streak to 11 games. Right on, right on. We come back, bottom of the 10th, it's an 11-6 ball game. Holy cow, this has gotten eventful. Nobody out, runner on first. Christian Encarnacion is at the plate with a solo homer on at being his only hit in the game. Two and two the count for him against Corbin Martin. And the wind up and the pitch. Hopefully we get that double play ball here. Oh yeah, ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop it up, throw to second. Five, four, and three. It is a double play that puts two outs on the board and empties the bases. We're now one out away from securing the win here in game number three. And the bummed out sounding crowd means we did win 11 to six, but the Reds did still win the series two games to one. So yeah, not the best day at the plate here in game number three, but I did have a pretty clutch single there in the 10th to extend my hit streak. So yeah, we dropped two of three on the road in Cincinnati. And that's gonna be the end of the series. It's also gonna be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.